have to remind him that we still have two boys each to do the duty for which he stood correct. The way I look at it, and being a physician myself, he really looked good, or as I say, he really took good care of himself health-wise. Not in his shortened 84 years on the earth did he experience any serious or major health issues until a few weeks ago. To me, what really happened to him was beyond shocking. And it reminded me of the poem, God moves in a mysterious way. Indeed, the things he has accomplished in his lifetime, raising a family to be what they have become today, would be a source of envy of most dads like me, and I'm sure it will trickle down to future generations. I truly believe that he did all this by living up to his namesake, the wisest of them all, King Solomon, <laughs> making his wisest decision in life. Up to the last breath, he made the wise decision so as they all say, pull the plug himself, sparing his loved ones and the hospital staff around him of any guilty feelings or conscience if they were to do it. To quote one of Shakespeare's aphorisms, parting is such a sweet sorrow, and one of leaving us permanently, created great sorrow among those he left behind. But at the same time, he left us with sweet memories, the laughter, the short-lived petty disagreements, which added spice to a well-bonded and pleasant family relationship. Fare thee well, my idol. You have accomplished your mission in this world, and it's now time for you to rest in heavenly peace. And please continue to watch over us, your loved ones, <coughs> together with Tatai, Nanai, Nono, and Boy, till we meet again, bro. <laughs> Loving you forever. <laughs> Maybe a family. Thank you, everyone. God bless you all. Good day.